Hey there, awesome watchers of this channel. I'm Sysist, and I'm here to help you to install VirtualBox on your Windows operating system. Let's embark on this exciting journey together. VirtualBox is a free and open source virtualization software developed by Oracle. It allows you to create and run virtual machines on your computer. A virtual machine VM is a software-based emulation of a physical computer, enabling you to run different operating systems within your existing operating system. VirtualBox is commonly used for testing software, running multiple operating systems on a single machine, and creating isolated environments for development and experimentation. To begin, start by downloading the VirtualBox installer. Open your web browser and search for VirtualBox. Access the official Oracle VM VirtualBox website by clicking on the corresponding link. On this webpage, you'll find the option to download the latest version of Oracle VirtualBox, which is currently version 7. Simply click on the prominent download button to be directed to the download section. In the download section, you'll find various versions of VirtualBox tailored to different platforms. Since we're installing it on Windows, select the Windows host link to initiate the download. For other operating systems, such as macOS or Linux, choose the relevant download link. The download process will only take a few seconds. Kindly wait until it's completed. Once the download finishes, locate the installer file in your downloads folder. Double-click the installer to initiate the installation process. You can also directly launch the installer from this location. After a brief moment, the VirtualBox Setup Wizard will open. Welcome to the Oracle VM VirtualBox Setup Wizard. Click Next to initiate the setup process. You can select your preferred installation options and determine the features you wish to install, while most users can stick with the default settings. Feel free to customize as needed. Now, you have the choice to pick where you'd like to install VirtualBox. The default location typically meet the requirements. You can opt for a different local disk. For instance, you can choose a directory named VirtualBox. With these settings completed, let's move forward. During VirtualBox installation, a warning might appear regarding potential network connection resets. If any ongoing background tasks require internet connectivity, please pause them. Now, let's proceed with the installation. Now, we have some missing dependencies. You may or may not face this step. If you don't need it, you may skip this part using the timestamp in the description. If you are missing them, hear how we can fix it. First, cancel the installation. Missing dependencies for VirtualBox. Refer to the required software components or libraries that are not present on the system. These dependencies are essential for VirtualBox to function properly. Additionally, ensure you have Python installed on your system, as it might be needed for certain VirtualBox features or scripts. Let's proceed to install Python now. First, navigate to Python. Work to download the latest Python version for installation on Windows 11. Click on the Download tab. Over here, there are multiple options for various operating systems. Opt for the Windows 11 64-bit version and proceed by clicking on it. Next, execute the installer. Before selecting Install Now, ensure to mark the checkbox labeled at Python to Path. Afterward, proceed with the Python installation, patiently waiting for it to conclude. Once the installation is successfully completed, close the installation window. Proceed by launching the Windows Terminal. To confirm access to Python, enter the command Python version in the terminal. This will display the installed Python version. Now to test Python we can click on the Start and open the apps. Scroll down to get to Idle Python.
Now it is open. Here we're going to run our first line of code. Print Hello World. Now we are going to install missing dependencies for VirtualBox. Now if you already have Python or just installed it, you need to open your Windows terminal and type the following commands as you see on the screen. The first one is for the missing Win32 dependency. And the second one is for Python core dependency. Now, both of the two missing dependencies required for VirtualBox have been successfully installed. Now back to installation of VirtualBox. Starting installation again. Click the Install button to initiate the VirtualBox installation process. If a warning appears, select Yes. The installation of VirtualBox will commence, requiring some time. Should you encounter a warning asking to install device software, it means VirtualBox aims to add software to your Windows 11 OS. An icon for VirtualBox is generated on the desktop. After a brief moment, a message confirming Oracle VirtualBox installation completion appears. With VirtualBox now operational on Windows 11, let's explore its features and creating virtual machines. For a new virtual machine, either press the New button or navigate through Machine and New. Provide the ISO file of your desired OS for installation. Obtain the ISO from the OS's official website. For instance, get Ubuntu's ISO from its website or Windows ISOs from Microsoft's site. You'll also need VirtualBox for the virtual OS installation on Windows 11. Wrapping up the video, once again, I'm your host, SciSyst. Thanks a million for tuning in. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and ring the notification bell. See you next time. By the way, be sure to check out our other informative videos. There's a whole treasure trove of knowledge waiting for you. Just click over to our channel and dive in. If there's a specific subject you're curious about, let us know in the comments. We're here to help and create content that matters to you. Happy learning!